breakfast in a bowl, but it ain't cereal. By request, we have been asked to make this farmer's breakfast bowl. You want to see our take on this popular cook? Then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. What are we doing with our hands? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> but we are excited for this breakfast cook. Breakfast is one of our three favorite meals to cook. And we hear it's one of the most important, if not the most important. One meal. of the top three. One of the top three. One of the top three meals of the day. Because Definitely made the top five. <laughs> You're right, okay. But today we are making these breakfast bowls. And really, if you saw our slop, it's gonna be similar to the slop. It's similar to these big breakfasts that we do. Yep. But what I love about this concept is we're gonna use American cheese and then toss some cheddar cheese on top of the bowl to melt over everything and make it all ooey gooey and good. But Brett, it doesn't matter what we talk about unless people see what we're talking about. Let's talk about the groceries. What do we got going in this? Here we go. We've got pork, we got bacon. We are using this mild pork sausage, thank you to Tanner. And we're gonna be using these diced ham cubes. So uh, we're also gonna be throwing in some eggs, white onion, and we're gonna cube up these potatoes really nice and small. And we're gonna season it with Uncle Steve shake the original. <laughs> so excited about that. We have done these potatoes before with this seasoning. We couldn't wait to, to bring it back, right? We love Uncle Steve's shake. We used this on our country potatoes before. We love it so much. We actually reached out to Steve and said, which one is the best for this? And we already knew it was gonna be, the, well, we were hoping it was the original. Yep, we would've been happy with any of them. The original it was. So there we go. Brett is gonna actually start tossing the extra virgin olive oil in with the Steve shake onto our potatoes so we can get those on the griddle. Right yep. now, we've had the griddle going a different angle here. Uh, we are at medium low. The medium low uh, really helps us control the temperature and the cook. And we'll do this whole cook on medium low. It's just gonna be a process. We're gonna start with our potatoes. When the potatoes are just about done, we're gonna toss the onions in there with them, get those really cooking. While we're cooking that, because our sausage is cooking from frozen, we're gonna start cooking it onto the side. We're gonna let it go. Cooking from frozen. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, gonna... that was a last minute. Adam was like, do you want sausage? I'm like, yeah, I want sausage. Why would I want sausage in this cookies off? Well, we didn't take it out last night. Because so... I want, I, I'm super excited about the ham cubes in this one to go with that bacon. Now we chop the bacon also. We cut the bacon up before, really just to cook up and get those juices and so we can mix this all together. So once the potatoes are just about done, we'll get the bacon going, start cooking that up, get the sausage going. You'll see, it's just a whole mess together. We'll pile it together, get the American cheese in there melted, and then we'll bowl these up, get that shredded cheese on top, and it's gonna be magical. I was so excited to cook. All, All right, right, throw these down. Yep, so hold on just a second. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Brent, so show the potatoes here. Let's see what you did you to them. See, the Uncle Steve's shake smells absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna put down just a little bit of oil because we did toss these in extra virgin olive oil. It doesn't need too much, so. All right, so I'm just gonna move that around a little bit, and then we are going to just toss them off. <laughs> Listen to the crowd. So <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> Oh, okay, the biggest thing is we want to really spread these around because, and, and flat because we want them all on the surface because potatoes, when they take a, they take a while to cook. They are the, the longest thing to cook in this, in this whole dish, which is why we started with them. That's just fun. Get the potatoes going, get the sausage. So this has been frozen, like we said. Mm -hmm. One thing too, don't forget to stick around till after. Stay tuned after for uh, for that mail time segment. We can't wait to dig into the goods and just share the love.
Right, let's go ahead and toss the onions in here. We're gonna start over here with a little oil, yeah? We're not necessarily gonna saute them. We just wanna get these little feet and then we'll drag them into that mess of potatoes. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Slippery bowl! <laughs> mess of potatoes, I'll, I'll pull that out. Okay, so we just wanna really just cook those up real quick. We're not necessarily, oh my. You smell that, those onions. Bro, that's divine. This reminds me, Brett, it's so funny. We think back to our fast food days. We were reminiscing earlier today. Oh, Bro, yeah. And, and think about, okay, we just want to get those seasoned in. Think about, we never got onions on any of the food because we're like, we're just not onion fans. Now, calls for onions, we're doing it. It's like we started a cooking show and all of a sudden our palates <laughs> just really mature. It matured a little bit. Now, so this is actually going to continue to cook. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to crank this one off that one's off we're gonna leave the middle a hot surface um and as medium low perfect for the bacon now we got the bacon um little cheat a little uh little pieces so we're not worried about it curling up if it does it does and then we're gonna bring in all that goodness and all that flavor into this we have her uh place called a scrambler um a scramble yeah. slop Let me move the bacon. Let me do the bacon this way. So you can go ahead and just toss that ham on. Let's get Okay, Brett, we're at a point. We're gonna start joining everything together. Thanks. Let's get, yeah, and then we'll get the eggs on here as well. Let's get our whole mess together. Bring in some of that bacon grease. Smell those onions, smell that all in here. Our bowl is just about done, but it is missing two key ingredients, Brett. Yep. The eggs and the cheese. Okay, we're using eight eggs for this. Now normally I put a little S and P on there, but there's already so much flavor going on in here. There's plenty of sodium. <laughs> now we thought about doing scrambled eggs. Brett's like, nope, this is how I make my scramble right here. Yep. That ham wanted to come join the eggs. Is that it? That's it. Okay, that is cooked. That's good to go. There's our mess of food. This is definitely what we would call a big monster breakfast. Yes. Get those eggs back in there. Yes. So we get the cheese. Woo! Well, you get ready. some cheese and you get some cheese. Everybody get some cheese. get some cheese. Everybody get some cheese. All right, we just want the American cheese to kind of melt throughout and we'll mix it in. Then when we're done with that, we'll pull these and bowl them and then we'll sprinkle a little. Pull them and after. bowl them. All right, we'll take a gander. See it starting to melt over there? Oh man. So now, we're just gonna mix the rest of this in. Now, if you don't like American cheese, guess what? Don't use American cheese. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not doing it right then. Use whatever you like. I like the way that American cheese <laughs> is creamy and it mixes so well with other cheese, including the mix, the Mexican mix that we will be using at the end, that shredded cheese at the end. But Brett, this is just about ready. We're to gonna bowl. bowl these and we're gonna cheese them and then we're gonna please them. So I'm gonna kill it. Kill the heat. Look good? Yeah. All right, let's build it. Let's get it on.
There it is, bro. <laughs> that is the farmer's breakfast bowl. Some might say the farmer's market. I think it should be more vegetarian. <laughs> okay, gotcha. This is very vegetarian. If you take out the potatoes, this is a super keto friendly it dish is. right here, it my is. guy. Is. This is really good. So, listen, you do the bowl how you wanted. We wanted to show how we do it. In fact, there were things we like. Do we put tomatoes in this? I mean, we were, we actually had green peppers originally on the list. Didn't happen to get green peppers. It didn't need it. We threw some garnish on there on the top, those little chives. Scallions, yes. But other than that, Brett, you know, we can keep talking about it, which I'm trying to do because it's really hot. <laughs> yes, right? I know, I'm like dancing that with my cheese, fingers out here. That shredded cheese is now melted perfectly so that melted cheese, on top. I'm excited to see what this tastes like all together. Right, like we say, it can look amazing. This looks amazing. Right? It can smell amazing. That box checked. Look at the steam, the heat coming off of this. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for naught. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My brother. Mm. Mm. Which flavor am I getting most? The potato? Oh, yeah. The way they're seasoned with the Uncle Steve shake. Uncle Steve shake. That flavor is so good. It's, it's just the original. And uh, he also suggested the spicy arm. So I will try this with that for sure. The bacon and the sausage, they met in the middle and they shook hands. They said, how you doing? You're tasting us at the exact same time. Good game because it's a tie. Good game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then I don't, I didn't get any crunch of the onions, but the, the, the flavor of the onions I is I got there. it in there. Yep, the flavor. So it's almost like we seasoned it with, with onion. And By the, the way, speaking of, of Uncle Steve, the link to Uncle Steve Shakes is in the description below this video. If you look at the name of the video, just to the right, there's a small arrow. Click that down where you can find the description about products we've used, how to become a Patreon, where you can find our merchandise, but also a link to Uncle Steve's Shakes. And Uncle Steve has said, because he's a gracious dude, that if you mention the Wall Twins when you place an order, he will throw something special in for you. So go ahead and do that. Steve, thank you so much. This was a perfect addition. This is amazing. Yeah. We promised a mail segment. We're going to grab that mail. All right, so we are going to start today. We've got a couple of letters, dude. I'm super excited from BBGD from Morristown, Tennessee. I'm excited to see what that is. Yes. And from Lalo Smokes. Love this so much. And I cannot wait to dig into this and see what we got. Oh, apparently I'm going first. I was just telling Oh, oh okay, yeah. So I'll open this one first. We'll see what we got. Yes, it's more stickers to add. Yes, to the fridge. Look at that. Lalo Smokes, my guy. That, that is me. awesome. Dude. Oh, my. Oh, look, tell me he could be another brother. Yeah, Lalo oh, is our triplet. That's our wall triplet <laughs> right there, man. That is perfect. Love it. Lalo Smokes, thank you so much. We will show the before and after of this on fridge. with this and the other one because you just made the too. fridge. Thank you so much, brother. We really appreciate that. All right, now uh, from BBGD. Add that on there. Oh, it is a sticker. All right, oh, here we go. Oh, man. Big Bad, Big Bad Big Griddle Daddy. Griddle Daddy. Look at that, man. Big Bad Griddle Daddy. And you can uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the sticker. And, of course, take a look at the growth of our refrigerator. All right, and finally, dude, I'm super excited for this yes. one. This is from Mike and Don Monet or Monet. Thank you so much. All the way from North Carolina, North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I met North Dakota, Carolina, and came out. I don't know what I was thinking. All the way from North wow, Dakota. You betcha. We're super excited. North Dakota. We've never been in North never Dakota. Never been in North Dakota. We wanted to go to North yeah. Dakota. By the way, on their um, on their label, it says "Think a Veteran." All right. right in the towel. Nice. Oh, oh this is man. so nice. First of all, way cool because, you know, I'm always needing a towel. This one I don't have to worry about. I'll just clip it on. Now I've got it with me all the time. How awesome is that? First of all, okay, there's two towels. There's, so you get oh, one too. Okay, yes. First of all, oh, oh man. What do we got Monsters there? Monsters Barbecue. Sweet kidding? heat. I love the sweet and heat. Muddy Mustard, Monsters Barbecue. So clearly some sauces that we have to familiarize ourselves Guess with. Guess we're just gonna have to make some barbecue, Treat we? yourself to the twangy taste of Muddy Mustard. Excellent for maintaining chicken pork and your kids will love dipping chicken nuggets and french fries. That is so awesome. Proudly made in North Dakota. So we're getting these sauces from all over. This is becoming a thing and I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with that Listen, too. We're gonna we're have to find we like it a sauce. We like it a sauce. And we're gonna have to find more barbecues to throw down on here. Oh darn. Since we get so muddy. We got we got a couple of more items in here, Brett. So first of all, we've got some Monsters Barbecue stickers. So dude, we got a big more stickers. Monsters, Monsters Barbecue. barbecue. Here it is, Mike and Don Monet, Monsters Barbecue. Sauces rubbed, smoked sea salts, and more. Have you rubbed your meat today? Look for us on Facebook. We'll put a link 
to uh, Monsters Barbecue as well in the description. So check that out below the video. So cool. This is amazing. And here's a letter to us. Hello, Waltons from North Dakota. Yes, we know how to barbecue up here. LOL. Sending you a few goodies my wife and I make. We have a small barbecue sauce business and love it. We also do rub, smoke, salts, and love doing rib cook-offs. That's awesome. Wow. Hope you guys enjoy everything as much as I enjoy watching your show. You have a great sense of humor and always make me laugh. Enjoy, friends. Mike and Don Monet of Monsters Barbecue. Thank you. This means so, so much. much. Absolutely. Very thoughtful, especially the towels, because I was saying, I'm like, I keep forgetting my towel out here. We're going we're gonna to put the stickers on the, the fridge, fridge. Uh, with the other ones. And Brett, look what we got here. Oh, we got Papa yeah. Monsters Rub. Monsters Barbecue wow. and some dirt, the rubs. Yeah. Thank you so much for wow. this. These rubs and sauces and all this is so amazing. You gotta love it, absolutely. This is so incredible. Man, how crazy is this? We've got amazing shakes, we've got rubs, we've got barbecue sauce. We're gonna add those stickers as well, the Monster Barbecue to our collection. Thank you guys so much. North Dakota, much love. When we do a world tour, <laughs> You guys tour. We're coming through North Dakota. We're Absolutely. For some amazing monsters barbecue. But for the time being, looks like we've got some awesome sauces that we can just use. Awesome sauce. sauce. And man, I'm set. Yes. I am set. So much thank you, guys. Thank you. And thank you, Lalo Smokes. And thank you, Big Bad Griddle Daddy. We love it all. And we are so appreciative. Get over here, my guy. <laughs> You're getting off camera. Let's get in here. We're so excited for what we do. We love the community and what you guys bring to us. So thank you so much. By the way, if you want to be featured in a mail time segment as well, don't forget to check in the link below for our P.O. Box. Also, another way you can choose to support the Wall Twins is through our Patreon page. Yeah, Patreon is a multi-tiered system where you have a little more access to us, uh, be it with... Uh, yeah, I was just saying hi to the neighbors. Be it, be it with special messages uh, from us, personal messages, some from behind the scenes footage, blooper reel, discounts on merchandise, and one level, or actually you get a free apron just right. for just for uh, being just for supporting us. So we finished too soon, I was still leaving. Just kidding. We are so grateful to our Patreons who have chosen to support us thus far. Special shout out to you all. Thank you so much for helping this become a reality for us. We absolutely mm -hmm. love getting together and doing these. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget to check out our merchandise store. We have a new logo design, some new products. So don't forget to check back. If you've already visited the Wall Twins merch store, check it out again because there's always new and products. And thank products. you, by the way, for doing so. Yes, for reals. Thank you so much. The bread aside from coming to open these amazing gifts, these items. Now we got to try so many other things. I'm excited for that. Yep. And aside from coming to make this banger of a breakfast, this farmer's breakfast bowl. What were you calling it? Oh, the Wall Twins at Scram Bowl. I like that. <laughs> that you can call it that too. You can call it whatever you want. You can put whatever you want. If you want donuts in there, put donuts in there. <laughs> My boy would want donuts in it. <laughs> He's like, but aside from coming to make all this while we're doing this. Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!